everybody. I just want to thank you guys for coming out today. I'm excited for the time that we can spend together. I'm going to be sharing with you a presentation on maintaining our manhood. And just to kind of give you some background, as I was thinking about the things that we can do in our lives and the things that impact us, I thought of uh, the men and the roles that they play in our life. And whether these are fathers, grandparents, uncles, um, we are all impacted by men. And my hope today in our presentation is to be able to show you some of the things that threaten um, the manhood or the men in our life. So we'll start off by talking about what makes a man. I'd invite you at this time to take just a second and think about a man in your life that is important, that they're an example to you, someone that you really look up to. And once you think of that person, think of some of the attributes that stick out to you, why you respect them. And then if I could get a volunteer, somebody to share an example of that. Kelvin? Yeah, I think of two men that really stick out to me. One is my own father, and one is my mission president. And uh, things that really stand out to me about their characteristics. Um, one is um, that they're extremely hardworking. Um, and the other is that they are um, intelligent by how they do things. Um, they work smart and not just hard. And so um, I think that we oftentimes look to men and a man as a hardworking individual that supports those around them. And so that's one of the things that I think of when I think of my father, of course, because he's supporting me throughout my life and my mission president. Um, but they support us mentally, physically, emotionally, um, and try to help us become better. Thanks, Captain. Appreciate it. Um, you highlighted some of the things that I thought of, too. Some of the aspects of a man, we have selflessness, someone who thinks of others, who is willing to make sacrifices for the well-being of those he loves. We also have protective. Uh, most of us have experienced that in some point in our lives. Fathers want us to do well, and they protect us from harm, bad influences, dangerous situations. Respectful. A good man uh, is one who can respect the people around him and himself. Strong. Most men are strong. And then uh, caring. Caring is something that's really important. Even though men have that protective presence, we also need to be caring for others. Lastly, they're wise. So Kelton talked about that. You know, they have a lot of knowledge. They work hard. They work smart. So knowledge is definitely an important part of being a man. So let's talk about what are some of the struggles today. We're going to start off um, with unemployment. So today in the United States, unemployment is a huge problem for men especially. Uh, people who have been breadwinners in their home, who have been providers for their family, are now finding themselves without work and without means to protect and provide for their family. Right now, 6.2% of men in the United States are unemployed. That may not sound like a huge percentage of men, but once you start to think of those children that are supported by those men, those grandparents, those wives, um, this 6.2% represents a lot of people who are impacted by unemployment. Some of the feelings that a man can feel when he's unemployed are feelings of guilt, low self-esteem, and this can generate marital conflict. So in my life personally, I've actually struggled with this a lot. My father was uh, unemployed or became unemployed when I was about 12 or 13 years old. And since that time, he's gone in and out of employment, but especially with recession, it's become extremely difficult for him to find work. I've seen how this has beat him down. Um, when you cannot provide for your family, and you cannot uh, allow them to have opportunities because you don't have the finances, it can cause a lot of stress, and it can cause a man to feel down and to wonder what his self-worth is. A second point is um, how men are being portrayed in the media today. If you think of it, a lot of people have thought of people like Homer Simpson um, and these other characters on TV that represent fathers in the home. These characters are not always exactly what you call a role model father. Many times they are represented by being stupid, uneducated, unethical. Right now, uh, fathers are eight times more likely to be portrayed negatively in the media. And um, this is something that we're seeing more and more often is that men who were once the leaders of their home are now being mocked and uh, being shown as incapable, inconsistent. If I could get somebody to read this quote for me. Dane, do you mind doing that? Sure. Where did we fathers go wrong? We spend twice as much time with our kids as we did two decades ago, but on television, we're obviously troubled, deranged, and generally incompetent. 
Even if Dad has a good job, like the star of Home Improvement, at home he's forever making messes that must be straightened out by Mom. Thanks, Dane. Um, this is something that's definitely true. I mean, there's always been good parents and good dads throughout time, but there are a lot of, a lot of dads who are trying right now to be with their children, to spend time with them. Um, we see that a lot of them are taking time off of work, trying to be part of their sporting events. And yet, despite all that effort, um, we see characters on Cartoon Network and on Disney Channel being portrayed as unintelligent and incapable. A third thing is social rules. We all know that social rules are all up in the air today, whether it's gay marriage or divorce in a family or who should be doing what. It can become confusing. Some things that have been changing throughout time and indicate some of these uh, social rules is now 61% of uh, graduate degrees are earned by women. In the past, it's been a lot lower number. and Now, it's appropriate and it's definitely um, a good thing that women are earning in education. Um, that's not the problem here, but what it represents is a shift and the primary breadwinners in homes and the people who are preparing to support their families. Right now, 22% of women are breadwinners in their home. This is a number that's always on the rise. And in some cases, this is somewhere where we as men need to decide to be more committed. Um, especially with all these negative influences around the media, it can be difficult for a man to step up, to feel encouraged and inspired when he sees those around him struggling to do the basic things uh, this represents a shift in men and their role and them taking responsibility to be the breadwinners in their home. Another thing that's a huge part of our society um, in this confusing role is we see a lot of split families. And this happens all the time. It's not the wish of many parents, but it's definitely something that's become more frequent. We also see that certain parents are not uh, in the home due to this. Right now, 24 million children in America live in a home where their biological father is absent. Um, this is a huge deal. Think of to yourself about your favorite experiences with your father. Some of the things that he's taught you. Think of your first time fishing. You can think of about when he gave you advice with school and with dealing with bullies. All of us have had unique situations where our fathers have played an impactful role in our lives and have taught us. Think of those fathers gone. 24 million children in America don't have that father. And without the father in the home, they also don't have uh, the right proper instruction to know how to be good men themselves. So this is something that creates kind of a spiral effect in our society. As men right now struggle to do that, children who become men in the future will also struggle to do that. So the question becomes, what can we do? Um, you know, I thought about this a lot. There's a lot of statistics out there, a lot of different suggestions. Ultimately, each of us has to look at the men in our life, and we have to see what they struggle with. Um, one of these three things could be, it could be something entirely different, but we have to ask ourselves essentially how we can support them. And that would be my main advice to you today is, as you go throughout your life and as you have your interactions, whether you're a man or whether there's men in your life, to ask yourself how you can support them, because ultimately support is what will help us to overcome these things. Support will lead to resolutions, to understanding, and also to us being successful. I just have this image up here, just to kind of close. In our lives, uh, fathers represent something beautiful. They not only bring us in the world, but they help us to get through this life. And um, that's an important part that each of us should remember. So I invite you to do that, and um, thank you for your time.